let us discuss about uh, compound distribution today okay a random variable s which is defined as x1 plus x2 plus extra xn is said to have compound distribution if n is a random variable see the number of variables n capital n is a random variable the first condition and the second condition is xis are independently and identically distributed random variables and the third condition is each xi is independent of n okay so under these three conditions the random variable s capital s is said to have compound distribution okay let us now de derive the mean of this distribution mean of the variate which follows compound distribution expectation of s you know that expectation of s can be written as expectation of expectation of s given n right with respect to another variable if you uh, condition it based on the values of n and once again if you take the expectation you are going to get expectation of s so this can be written as expectation of what is your s x1 plus x2 plus etc x here given n you know the value of n okay so this can be written as expectation of x1 plus expectation of x2 plus expectation of xn given n see xis are all iids so all their expectations will be equal let us say all of them are equal to expectation of x okay up to n times see this is up to n times your adding right you know the value of n and that will be equal to n times expectation of x okay so this is actually the answer for this that is expectation of s given n is nothing but n times expectation of x okay now this is of the form expectation of a x a this is a x is a random variable after taking expectation it becomes a constant and capital n is a random variable okay so expectation of a x can be written as a into expectation of x what is your a take it out a into expectation of x right so the mean of s is derived like this okay now let us go to variance variance of s see you know this variance of s can be written as expectation of variance of s given n plus variance of expectation of s given n right the proof for which you should have studied under marginal and conditional distributions let us have a video for this proof also okay now this is equal to expectation of variance of s is x1 plus x2 plus etc xn given n plus variance of what is expectation of s given n you have proved here n into expectation of x see here this is the random variable and this is like a constant okay after taking expectation it becomes a constant so variance of ax can be written as a square into variance of x we are going it to do it in the next step and here xis are iids right so variance of x1 plus variance of x2 plus etc variance of xn it can be written like this you don't have the covariance term here because the variables are iids independent right okay 
plus which can be taken out expectation of x variance of ax is a square into variance of x so when it comes out it comes out as expectation of x the whole square and you know all variables are iids so the variances will be equal so let us say the variances are equal to x okay so for n terms it is uh, for n times the sum is done for n times okay expectation of x the whole square into variance of n so that is equal to expectation of n times variance of x plus expectation of x the whole square into variance of n so this is again of the form expectation of a x okay a can be taken out variance of x into expectation of n plus expectation of x the whole square into variance of n okay so this is the formula for variance of s right now let us write the mean of compound binomial distribution what is compound binomial distribution see the variable s is said to have compound binomial distribution if x is the sum of first n uh, capital n random variables uh, where n is a binomial variate okay what about x size they are not they need not be binomial but x size are independently and identically distributed okay and that each x i is independent of n okay right so e capital n is binomial so this is called compound binomial distribution what is your expectation of s yes, we have derived the formula as expectation of x into expectation of n so if n is a binomial variate what is expectation of n it is np so what will be your answer here np into expectation of x expectation of x depends right x i s are i i d s that's all what is the distribution it depends on the situation okay let us come to the mean of compound poisson distribution so the definition says s which is the sum of first n random variables where n is a poisson variate okay n is a poisson variate what about x size x size are iids that's all right whatever be the distribution of x size they should be iids that's all each x size it is not necessary that x size should also be poisson right see the definition carefully uh, you should have the sum of this is this distribution is widely used in uh, insurance right the number of claims capital n is the number of claims okay let us talk about the applications uh, beautiful applications in one other video right now you need expectation of s yes. which is expectation of x into expectation of n what about n here n is poisson so in poisson variate what is the mean lambda so lambda into expectation of x is the answer for mean of uh, compound poisson distribution similarly we shall have the mean of uh, compound normal distribution right here s is once again the sum of first n random variables where n is a normal variate okay with mean mu and variance sigma square and each xi is independent of n so your expectation of s here is expectation of x into expectation of n what is n mu right so this is the mean of 
compound normal distribution okay so we have derived the mean of some compound distributions today right thank you